Hi, hello everyone. This is Dr. Ramala. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to explore the MBRT methylene blue reduction paste, an important tool for milk quality checking method. If you are interested in MBRT, you are the right place now. In this video, we will be discussing the MBRT method and its principle, procedure and its applications. Let's get started. An aim of MBRT to determine the bacterial count in milk and keeping quality and shelf life of milk and evaluate milk hygiene. Access the milk's potential for spoilage. Is the milk are you having safe? No, it is adulterated. It refers addition of substances or diluents that alter milk composition, quality and consistency. The common adulteration includes water. It's added to increase volume and fat content of milk. And urea, it is added to increase protein content of milk. And starch, it is added to increase solid content of milk. And vegetable oil, it added to increase fat content of milk and melamine it is a dangerous and illegal one it is added to increase the protein content of milk and formalin added as a preservative and detergent increase foaming content of milk and sugar added to increase sweetness and salt added increase the conductivity of milk and this MBRT detects any contamination or adulteration in milk. It provides a rapid and simple method for milk quality control in dairy industries, farms and laboratories. The MBRT works by adding methylene blue dye as an indicator to the milk sample, which turns blue in the presence of oxidizing agent like oxygen. If the milk contains a high number of bacteria, the milk will be reduced and solution will turn colorless, indicating poor quality of milk. It is totally unfit for human consumption. And materials needed for MBRT, methylene blue dye, milk samples, distilled water, incubator and water bath, stopwatch or timer and sterile test tubes. Set the water bath and pour water put on the power switch set the temperature the is she is at 98.6 dt Fahrenheit for 30 minutes check the temperature minutes. with thermometer Take 5 sterile glass beakers and label as A, B, C, D and control and collect 4 different milk samples such as pasteurized raw milk, cultured milk and non-pasteurized milk. Pour the milk samples in the respective beakers. Add 10 ml of each milk samples to the respective tubes and labeled as A, B, C, D and control. One tube maintained as control.
Add 2 to 3 drops of liquid blue dye to all the test tubes and mix it properly until get uniform color of liquid blue. I need to fit all the tubes at room temperature 37 degrees Celsius or 98.6 degree Fahrenheit for 30 minutes or incubate all the tubes in water bath. After 30 minutes observe the color of the milk solution. Blue color indicate good quality of milk, colorless or pale blue indicate poor quality of milk. Record the time taken for the color change, compare the result in the standard chart to determine the bacterial count. An important note, the test can be performed at room temperature that is 25 degrees Celsius, 77 degree Fahrenheit for 60 minutes. But incubation at 37 degrees Celsius that is 98.6 degree Fahrenheit for 30 minutes is recommended for more accurate results.